leptospirosis, uh, leptospirosis uh, wheels disease is very important it comes under spirochetes bacteria so let us look at uh, leptospira now okay in the spirochetes lepto uh, there are a lot of uh, bacteria let us look at leptospira interrogans leptospira interrogans causes this zoonotic disease named leptospirosis okay it causes this zoonotic disease called leptospirosis in rodents it causes this and sometimes even in domestic animals it is transmitted to human by direct or indirect contact with water what kind of water all water no it should not be pure water it should be some dirty water the water which is contaminated by the urine water which is contaminated by the urine of these carrier animals okay so this is leptospirosis a brief introduction so leptospirosis is also called as wheels disease the main question they have asked here is the pathogenicity and lab diagnosis so you will have to focus on the entire thing let's start with leptospira so here you should know that uh, these are spirochetes right and they are motile definitely they are motile we have seen this in all these spirochetes they are motile and uh, they are in spirals right that's why they are called as spirochetes and they have hooked ends they have hooked ends i will show you the diagram here this is the morphology of leptospira if you draw this diagram it will be very good okay it's very easy uh, just draw kind of um, i'll show you how to draw 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 something like this okay not draw able to draw it exactly like how they have shown in the diagram but something like this you draw okay and then fill it with black with your pencil not with so much like this you draw you will get lot of marks okay for drawing diagram just make sure it looks like this <clears throat> okay so they are motile they are spiral they have hooked ends that much you have seen in the morphology then they cannot be seen under light microscope so you will use dark ground illumination right that's why we have shown you black background okay now there are two species leptospira interrogans and uh, leptospira biflexa however we are focusing on leptospira interrogans which causes leptospirosis the two species under this genus leptospira now the pathogenic leptospires are in the uh, leptospira interrogans and it is going it has 22 sero groups and uh, each sero group has one or more sero vars that is sero types fine there are so many sero groups sero types what else can i tell you when you see how they move no they rotate about their long axis this you have seen mostly in many things they rotate about their long flat long axis and they bend and flex sharply okay the main question here is what pathogenicity and lab diagnosis see these are aerobic bacteria uh, just to give you the highlights uh, just to give you the highlights you can um, use rabbit serum in the media to grow them some specific media that you have to remember with leptospirosis are corthoffs stewarts and fletchers media fine you can use this emjh that elling hasen mek call of johnson harris media now it is commonly used say they are saying commonly they are using this uh, emjh media you can also grow it on the chorioallantoic membrane of chick embryo what and all did you learn in this video leptospirosis leptospirosis is uh, caused by leptospirosis is caused by lepto leptospira interrogans this is a spirochete it is um, best seen in dark ground illumination it is motile it is aerobic what else did you see there are two gene uh, there's one genus leptospira under that you have two uh species interrogans and bi what was the word there biflexa biflexa so interrogans is the one that is pathogenic fine then what else did you see the media right corthoff and fletcher media right stuart and fletcher media stuart and fletcher 
mature media then emgh we saw then what else you can grow it in the choreo allantoic membrane yeah something very important we didn't write is it is called as wheels disease wheels disease right it comes from water contaminated water urine contaminated water right it's a zoonotic disease this much we have learnt in this video in the next video we'll see the pathogenesis and in the video thereafter we'll see the lab diagnosis some other things that we have to focus in this video are um, see rodents are infected rat especially is a very important uh, uh, carrier of these uh, this disease humans are end host this is a good thing right humans are end host one human will not affect another human the as we have already told you how this disease happens is because when human come in contact with water which is contaminated with the urine of um, these carrier animals that is when human get affected did you understand rat is very important carrier of this disease <clears throat> and uh, human is end host there is no evidence that human patient infect other human patients okay